it. Uh, now, this is the latest that we are picking up on Go First. Uh, now, uh, Ritu is joining in with some information that she's picked up that the deadline to submit the expressions of interest for Go First is likely to be extended. Uh, Ritu joins in with more details. Ritu. Well, that's right. This is the second such deadline extension that lenders are now thinking over. Remember, the initial deadline to submit EOIs for GoFirst was the 9th of August, which was then uh, extended to the 8th of September. That expired last week. And, you know, there weren't really any concrete offers that have come in. And therefore, now uh, lenders are looking to extend the deadline until the last week of September. Uh, the Committee of Creditors, which has to take the final call in the matter, is going to be holding a meeting later this week to vote on the proposal and decide the deadline by which they will now be starting the process afresh to invite uh, expressions of interest for the airline. Now, the key concern, uh, at least as far as the lenders are concerned, is uh, you know the lesser case uh, against Go First is ongoing in uh, the High Court. And per that perhaps lends some uncertainty to the entire process because if the termination of uh, the leases is held valid by the courts, it may impact uh, the bidders' uh, uh, bids, if at all they come forward with those. So far, not a single strategic player has come forward to show an interest in Go First. Uh, there are a handful of players, however, who have reached out through their financial advisors, but none directly. So there is that concern with the lenders who are now looking to extend the deadline in a bid to attract more suitors. Uh, as far as the court hearing is concerned, the next one is on the 13th of September. But it is unlikely that immediately there will be clarity on that front. All right, Ritu, thanks a lot for getting us all of those uh, very important details on that story. But with that, let's move back and talk.